Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying DHE, Bob Wyatt's uh, Dear Hair Emerger. As always I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page if you would like to support the channel, get access to the members only content uh, and be entered into the monthly giveaways. <coughs> so, I've got my hook and my vice. Uh, this is a TMCO 2487 barbless and this is a 12, the fly that I had in the vice was a 14 but I'm tying a 12 so you can see it a bit better I'm going to start my thread, now for this colour I'm using dark brown uni 8 aught and I'm going to run along around the bend <coughs> and leave my tag end and I'll just come up back up in spirals make sure everything's caught it I'm going to stop with my thread sort of just in front of the hook point right, slightly forward I'm going to get my wing, I'm just going to get a bunch of deer here, this is quite dark tipped uh, row that I'm using but use whatever you like uh, I mean as you get into the smaller sizes you might want to use um, some let's short fine or paradon here so I've just stacked that here So we check for any broken fibres, and I don't mind that I'm handling it. I might be knocking it slightly, the tip slightly out of alignment. I don't mind that at all. Um, this may be even a good thing. Wing length, you're looking a bit of shank. So take a loose wrap and another, pull it tight. Right, I'm just gradually tighten and before you do this make sure your thread's corded up if it's sort of flattened out a wee bit you'll lose some of the strength then you can lock it down lift everything up take some locking wraps in front I'm just going to tidy up these butts. I've trimmed them so that there's a taper. Now, another way to tie this is with the the butts. You tie the wing in after the abdomen and leave the butts sticking up as like a wee shoulder, and that can be quite nice. I'm going for the sort of original part in here. So, getting some olive. Here's here. Just going to dub this on. You don't want. You don't need a ton. Keep this quite thin. You mean the 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 butts of the wing will give you enough taper anyway. I'm just going to come in, I'm well round the bend here just going to tighten that as I go I'm just going to build that body all the way up and you can see there the butts of that here has given me all the taper that I need and then I'm going to come on with my waist end of thread and rub this, just tightens it up a wee bit just 
one by dear here there just we'll get to the front of that take a wrap and I like I like to just pull it forward take a couple of wraps and then cross it with my thread make sure it's tied in and then when I f I'll grab the wing and the, the thread, pull it all back and snap the thread away after I've tied over it so that it's locked in, it can't pull out, it's very secure and I'm just going to stand that wing up bring my thread behind it and now just to add a bit of durability to the wing I'm going to come in and cut through it with the thread that you'll be amazed at the difference that makes to how long these flies last um, it stops the wing collapsing and then for the thorax you can use the same for our, I'm using a slightly darker mix this is a dark all of it and this is squirrel and SLF um, but it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to start here at the front and wind my wheel back up against the wing. If you want, you can actually even come a wrap behind. Just yeah, and then a quick, quick finish, and you're done. that away. Now I do like to come in and just lightly just lightly rub that a wee bit with the velcro to put a couple of a couple of hairs uh, to represent legs or whatever just it gives that wee sort of fuzz gives you a really nice in the, in the surface of the water. <coughs> the last thing is just a wee bit of varnish on those thread wraps at the eye. And there you go, there's the Deer Hair Emerger, the DHE. It's a fantastic fly uh, for rivers and still waters. Tie them 8 so the way down to 20s really. Um, smaller if you can manage it. Great for upwinds, great for caddis. Well worth having in your box. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tech lines guys. Bye.